Newcastle have three players who can be their own Vincent company after takeover. Newcastle players have been advised on how they can emulate Manchester City legend Vincent Kompany following the incredible pounds 305 million takeover of the Magpies. The purchase, completed by a consortium fronted by Amanda Staveley, has been billed as being similar to the huge 2008 takeover of City by the Abu Dhabi group. Staveley has promised world-class signings, but former City defender Netamanyuoha has told Newcastle's current squad that they can copy Kompany's legacy. The former Belgium defender was signed by City prior to the 2008 takeover, but remained a key player for a decade despite the constant arrivals of big money stars. The takeover does not necessarily mean the end for any young players at Newcastle, Anyuoha wrote in his column for The Athletic. When I look back to that first season after the City takeover, I have happy memories of it, and so do other of the younger players from the time. That was my best season for the club. That was a 22-year-old Stephen Ireland's best season for City too. Justin, Eric Lamella's comments suggest Tottenham made mistake with transfer Mika Richards made 50 appearances that season at age 20. Joe Hart played over 30 times as a 21-year-old. And we had a good season as a team, based around our youngsters, finishing 10th in the Premier League and getting to the quarter-finals of the UEFA Cup. Because we were the richest club in the world, but we were still Manchester City. And that was when the club forged its new identity, based on what had gone before. Some of the new players who arrived weren't there very long, so as a young player, if you had the right stuff about you, you could be part of continuing the identity of the club. As long as the manager liked you, you could become the next Vincent Company. Express Sport picks out three players who could replicate Company's city legacy. Don't miss Real Madrid plotting Chelsea swap to test Roman Abramovich's resolve and Levy braced for Real Madrid talks as two-year deadline nears Mikel Arteta wants £38 million aces benchmark of new-look Arsenal attack winger St. Maximin is a couple of years older than company was at the time of City's takeover, but he is their most exciting player. It would be a good idea for Newcastle's side to be built around the talented Frenchman. St. Maximin is one of few players in the club's current squad who is able to lift the demanding crowd at St. James Park with his tricky wing play. The 24-year-old is also the most likely current player to fit seamlessly into a reinvigorated squad full of elite talent. St. Maximin has scored nine goals and registered 14 assists in 64 appearances, but could improve those numbers around better players. Continue to excite fans while winning trophies, and he has every chance of becoming a club legend. If Ashley did anything to say goodbye to Newcastle fans, it was the £25 million acquisition of midfielder Willock from Arsenal. The 22-year-old starred on loan with the Magbies in the second half of the season, sensationally scoring in each of their final seven matches. His goals were a big reason for Newcastle's Premier League survival. Willock returned to Arsenal and appeared set to feature for the Gunners this season, only for Ashley to sanction a permanent deal late in the transfer window. He has failed to score in seven appearances across all competitions this term. However, he is another player around whom Newcastle can rebuild their team. The 18-year-old Anderson is highly rated by staff at Newcastle. A midfielder, he was handed a senior debut in last season's FA Cup defeat by Arsenal. Bruce gushed about the England under-19 international following, that game I think you've seen it yourself, haven't you? The 60-year-old said when asked about Anderson. As soon as he comes onto the pitch, he accepts the ball and receives the ball. He never looks rushed. Everything is effortless to him and easy. We hope he's got a big future. Anderson